Hello everyone. Welcome to Unlock Maths. Today we have to find nth derivative of e raised to ax into sine of bx plus c. So let's write here this y is equals to e raised to ax into sine of bx plus c, where this a, b, and c these are the constants. And here we have to find nth derivative. That means here we have to find y one, y two, y three. Up to y n. So let's differentiate this y with respect to x. Differentiating y, we get first derivative y one, right? And here we have yes, here we have two different function. First is exponential function, and second is trigonometric function. That means here we have to apply product rule of differentiation, and we have here first function. Into derivative of second, that means sine derivative. This is cos cos of b x plus c into b plus second function. This is as it is into derivative of first. So derivative of first. This is e raised to a x into a. So we got first derivative. Now here we have this e raised to a x. This is common, so we can take this is outside. So in bracket here we have cos of b x plus c into b into sine of b x plus c into a, right? So we got this is first derivative y one. Now to get y two, we have to differentiate this is again. That means we have to apply product rule. So by applying product rule, we will get bigger term than this one, right? Since all these functions. Have non-vanishing derivative, and same for y3, y4 up to yn. We will get bigger and bigger terms. So for the sake of convenience, what we have to do, we have to convert this bigger term into smaller one, so that we have to do some substitution. So let's put here. This a is equals to r cos theta, and b is equals to R sine theta, right? So here we have on this substitution, we get here this term. So here we have this R common. So take this is outside R into e raised to a x. So remaining term, this is as it is. So we can check that. Now we got. This expansion, so we can compare this is with this one. Here we have sine a plus b. What is this expansion? Yes, we know that this is sine of a into cos of b plus cos of a into sine of b. Right? So here we have same as this one. If you want, we can write by Arranging this term, so here we will have this is sine theta. Yes, we have arranged these terms to get similar expansion to this one, right? Only we have shifted this term to this term here. So here we have yes, y one is equals to this is r into e raised to a x. So here we have sine theta, right? Sine theta plus b x plus c, right? By comparing this one, so we got first derivative. This is r into e raised to a x into sine of. Yes, again we can arrange. This is as here sine b x plus c plus theta. So we got. First derivative, right? Yes. Now again, we can say that since this is in y, we have here sine term. So it's good to convert this bracket in sine term. So we got this first derivative y one. This is given by. Yes, what is we got here? Y one is equals to r into e raised to a x into sine of b x plus c plus theta. 
Now we have to check that what is this R and what is this theta. So which substitution we have used here? We have used A is equals to R cos theta and B is equals to R sin theta, right? So here to find R and theta we have to do this is here. So R is equals to A square plus B square raised to 1 by 2. And what is theta? For theta, yes we can check, we can write here B by A. This is R sin theta upon R cos theta. So we get here B by A is equals to this is tan of theta. So theta is equals to tan inverse of B by A, right? So we got value of R and theta, right? So here we have find first derivative. From this one we have to find second derivative. We have write down here y1. So let's differentiate this y1 to get y2. Now here this is r is constant. So let's apply product rule here. First function into derivative of second. So e raised to ax into sine derivative this is cos of bx plus c plus theta into b right plus second function this is as it is into derivative of first. So here we have e raised to ax into a right. Now again at this time e raised to ax this is common here so we can take this is outside so here we have e raised to ax outside this bracket and remaining term this is as it is. So again put substitution to convert this term into smaller one. So we get here, yes this is we have find y2. Yes we can write here this is differentiating y1. Right? Yes. So here we have y2 is equals to we have to use this substitution. We have used this substitution here. So we have r common. So take this as r outside. So this r and this r here we have r square e raised to ax this is as it is right and remaining here we have again this is similar expansion sine of a plus b right so we can write this is again sine of yes this is here bx plus c plus theta and this again theta here right so we got here y2 this is equals to r square into e raised to ax into sine of bx plus c plus twice theta right so this is we got second derivative so here we have this is first derivative this is here we have theta, right? And in y2 here we have twice theta. So in general we can write this is y3. This is as. Now we can compare this y1 and y2. So here in y1 here we have r power 1, right? And here we have theta. And here in y2 here we have r square. And here we have twice theta. So in general y3. We have here r cube into e raised to ax into sine of bx plus c plus thrice theta, right? So, in general, we have write down y3. So, similarly, we can write yn as, yes, how we will get yn? This is differentiating y with respect to x and times.
we get yn and what is yn here we will have rest to r rest to n right into e rest to ax into sin of bx plus c plus n theta right so here we have find nth derivative of e raised to ax into sin of bx plus c. So what is this here we got? This is r raised to n into e raised to ax into sin of bx plus c plus n theta, right? So this is we have find nth derivative of this one where what is r? r is equals to this is a square plus b square raised to 1 by 2 and what is theta? Theta is tan inverse of b by a, right? So in this way we have find nth derivative of e raised to x into sine of bx plus c. This is given by this one where this value of r and theta is given by this. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Thank you. Keep watching.